Hello there and welcome to the Mobile Academy and if you want to become a job ready Flutter developer make sure to check out the courses on my website mobileacademy.io here you will find all of the courses related to the flutter development you will find the professional course as well as the basic course related to the flutter you can also find some of the uh, free courses over here if you want to just go and try it out or if you are just a beginner on the flutter and then the react native you can also find the free course over here and if you would like to be a full stack developer, we also have the course related to the full stack developer, related to the uh, Node.js, Express, MongoDB, as well as the Flutter over here. And if you would like to join the uh, Flutter Bootcamp, there is also a Bootcamp course over here. So make sure to go and check out the course over here. There are free and then they paid codes. And if you want to be a job ready Flutter developer, this is the course that you would want to take. So see you guys on the next lesson. Till then, have a great day. Let us continue with our lesson over here. So the next step, what we would like to do over here is you can see that we have this particular back button. But once we log into this particular uh, main route, we don't want to have this particular back button. So how we can do that? So let's go over here and I'll just um, duplicate this line and let me just comment out this particular line as well. So now what we can do is context dot I can make use of the go over here and I want to go to this particular home home route instead of uh, using the push over here. So now previously we make use of the push. Now you can remember we can make use of the context that go or you can also make use of the uh, go router dot of context dot go similarly you can just go and replace this one and make use of this one as well over here so let me just duplicate this one so you can have a doc over there so i'll just uh, rename this one to be of this untxt context over here and let's just go and restart in our both of the device over here and now if i go to login and now you can see you can't find that particular uh, back button over here as well and similarly if i go to my android device over here right and here if i go to login i can't have that particular back button as well as i can make use of this particular uh, back button from here right so if i click this one that should exit the app right and you can see that it exited my particular app so i can go back to the previous screen so what is the uh, the difference between the context and, and the context that go and then the context that push over here push basically means that you want to push the route on the route stack right so if the current route is of the login and if you push the home route on into the navigation stack it's going to push on top of the um, the 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 login route stack so it keeps the stack right it's similar to what you keep a book stack or any stack that you prefer and uh, you can always pop the top one and you can go to the uh, previous stack right so similarly the concept in in the context that push over here is you're pushing this home route into the navigation stack that was previously there and the uh, previous was the login now it will be of the home as the active route and if you click the back button you can go back to the previous route but in the context uh, the things the context that go that doesn't happen so it's not going to push the route to your um the route uh, into the navigation stack so the home route is never going to push into the current navigation stack but it will treat this one as a completely new route and replace uh, the the login route itself and make it as the uh, the current route itself so it's not going to add that home to the uh, the navigation stack and have the stack navigation over there so if you want to have this stack navigation you have to make use of the push because it will keep the stack and you can always go back but if you want to replace that particular uh, route and you want to make use the go over here because that's going you're saying that go this to this particular route and don't keep that particular don't add this one to the navigation stack because you don't want to come back to that particular uh, route stack again or you don't want to come back to that particular route again so that's the um, the push and then the go over here and uh, we can use both of these depending on your requirement over here so that's all for this lesson and now uh, we will meet up in the next one till then have a great day
let us continue with our lesson over here so the next step what we will learn over here is using a name route over here in the navigator 1.0 i think we have used the name route but uh here in the go router let us try to make use of it as well over here so let's just go and um, make use of this uh, duplicate line and i'll just go and comment out over here and now i can just go and call this one as the go to the named over here go named and uh, I, I have to make use of the name route so if you go to the app route over here and you can see that we have the name route over here so we have provided the name for this one which will be of the home home route name so the name is quite confusing over here but i guess that should be perfectly fine this is just a test app and uh, it's really difficult to find uh, uh, naming over here right so once you're creating an application it's pretty difficult to uh, name the things over here so i'll make use of context that go name and i will just say uh, home route name over here and once i pass that one and let's try to go and restart our application in uh, i just uh, want to restart in both of this particular device so here in the android device uh, let's just try to log in and i can log in over there as well and in the uh android uh sorry in the the ios device let's just try to restart the application and now i can click on this one i can go back to the, my particular the screen over here so you can also make use of the go named over here uh, if you don't want to prefer uh, this particular way of navigating and uh, you can always make use of this particular the uh, go named instead of the uh, go or you can also make use of the uh, go push over here sorry um, I guess there is no uh, no go push it should be push name over here so sorry for that one is uh, so one is a go named and another one is a post name so depending on your requirement uh, you can either use the the named route over here or you can just make use of the this particular route and i think that's all for this lesson and uh, we will continue with it on the coming up lecture till then have a great day let us continue with our lesson over here and in this particular lesson let us go and see how we can pass the argument or how we can pass the argument to our, our next screen over here so for that i guess we already have the detail screen which takes the uh, age and the uh, name and the age over here and uh, it also takes the function over here but let's see uh, some much more simpler things that we need to pass over here so that may be quite uh okay so for now we don't want to focus on this one let's go and take a look on the uh we have the product setting shop and in the tracking screen i guess we just have to pass one thing that is of the uh, name over here and uh let's go to our let's go back to our uh, let's go to the uh, let's go to the our app route over here and let's just go and add the new one over here that will be of the currently this is of the home and i guess i will change this one to be of the uh, uh, home and uh, home screen over here and uh, this will be of the uh, main over here and this will be of the main screen and i need to add the new or uh, the name over here as well and that will be of the main itself and this will be of the uh, main and this will be of the main route name so main main route name so if you go to our main screen so let's try to navigate it over here and for that let's just go and remove the unused packages over here and let's go to our um the app route name so okay so we have already added the home as well as the name let's go to the app route now and we have set the uh, path to of the uh, main and then the name of the this should be of the main route name right so this will be of the main sorry m a i and main route name over here so we have configured this one and this is going to take us to the uh, main screen so let's go to our uh, login screen from here and from here we want to go to our uh, let's comment out this one and from here we want to go to the uh, main route name over here right so let's make use of the go 
named over here. Let's try to restart this in our application and let's go back. So from here, we want to go to that particular screen okay, so it's still taking us to that particular uh, main route. So main route, let's go and take a look over here. That is of the main route name and it's going to taking us to the main screen over here. I guess that should be correct one over here but in the main screen we have a different option so let's just try to uh, restart it one more time over here and if i go to here it's not taking us over there it should actually take us to our main screen over here and in the main screen we have the the app bar with this particular configuration we have the tab all right and uh, we also have the body tab bar view over here. I guess it's the correct one main. And we have the home here. Okay, so we need to go to the home over there. Sorry for that one. So let's go over to, to our login screen. And from here, we need to go to the uh, on the uh, home uh, name route over here. Not, not, the, uh, not the home. Hey, sorry, not the home. It should be of the home route, right? So let's just go and restart over here. I got confused over there and now we are on to our home screen. So this is of the uh, product shop and uh, let's add a one button so we can go to the um, from the shop. Let's I guess uh, we will add one uh, button over here and we want to go to that particular screen. So let's go to our uh, shop over here and uh, here let's just go and add one. Uh, button over here that will be of the let's say e early elevated uh, button uh, elevated button over here and here i want to make use of the uh, cntx the context dot the uh, go over here and not the context that go because we want to push it to the stack so i'll just make use of the uh, push over here context that push push over here or you can make use of the post name instead of the push so let's just make use of the push over here and we want to go to our screen so currently we haven't added that screen over here and let's just go and add the one more screen over here that will be of our trck tracking screen over here and let's uh, i guess we need to pass one argument so now we are coming it to the point over here so let's say a trsc can be tracking over here and we also need to have the uh, route over here that will be of the tracking right so let's just go and add the one more that will be of the tracking route name trsck and tracking route name and this will be of trsck and tracking over here so let's uh import that one over here that will be of the uh, trsck tracking uh, route name over here and now here we need to pass some arguments over here that will be of the name so instead of just returning directly from here let's just go and return it from inside from here return the uh, tracking page because we need to uh, grab some prompts over here so let's go to our um, this particular sub screen and before once we are pushing it to the trac candy tracking over here let's just push the name as the like uh, let's say we will push something like the um a cat over here or oh yeah so okay or oh, okay so let's remove this one so i just want to push it as a cat over here and this will be of the um uh, i go to or we'll just say um push to trac kanji tracking over here and once we have this particular concept um we need to grab this end of the this will be of our name so how we can grab this in our app route is i can go over here and i'll just say final this will be of the name and it will be from the state so state has the option that i can this is the state you can see go router state and using that if i say that i have the lot of other option i can grab so i can grab the extra a full path right the name location the name itself the page key path right and the uh, the path parameters and also you have the um, top route the url uri and all this stuff so here what we want to go over here is we want to grab that particular configuration so let's just go and grab the uh, path parameters over here 
and then the path parameters currently we haven't accept anything from here and i want to accept this as the uh, name over here so i want to accept sorry not this one i have to have the forward slash and then the name so this is the uh, parameter that i want to accept from here and let's go and grab that one from here that will be of the name itself and uh, once uh, this can be of the null level so it can be of the null level and if it is null level then we'll just say as the unknown over here so we are going to pass that one to our tracking screen so let's just go and restart our application and um, let's go to the login itself and we'll go to from the shop we need to go to the push to the tracking and now you can see we got that cat over here so using this particular path parameter over here we can extract the 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 um the parameters that we are passing into our route over here so if you go to this particular sub screen we are passing this as the cat as the path prompts over here the path parameter and in the uh, go router itself you can see that we want to uh, after this particular last uh, the forward slash we have the colon and then we have the name and this is the path the the parameter that we are expecting over here so in the state that the path parameters we can extract it using this particular name so if you have this one as the id over here so you need to extract that one as the id over here as well and if i go and reload this one and if i go to the login and go to the sub and go to the post to the tracking i got that one over here as well and if i go and to the uh, this particular sub screen and if i say if i don't pass it anything over here and once you don't pass the the um, the path parameters over here and if you try to rerun this application uh, you should that that should not match the route so if i go to the login if i go to sub and if i go here you will see that the exception no route for the location for this particular tracking found because this is not there so if you go to our app route we require we have the path with this id over here so that is what it is expecting over here it is expecting the the path parameter over here that's why we are getting that particular error and similarly if you go back to the shop screen and if i make use of the uh, push if I go and make sure the push name over here and that will be of the uh, TRACK ING tracking route name itself and let's go and rerun our application go here go to sub go to the tracking page again and we got the error because you can see that the path parameters contains it's missing the ID so we we now once we have the path parameter over here we can't make use of the named route because it requires the the path parameters over here so once you have the path parameters make sure you cannot use the the uh, named uh, named uh, named route over here so previously we are make, making use of the named route but if you want to make use of the named route uh, you have to make sure that your route doesn't accept any of the path parameter so i i think you got the point over here and uh, how to make use of this one as well so this should be of the uh, just a uh, push over here and we can't push to the named route we have to push it to the uh, tracking over here and this tracking route also accept the path parameters so i have to pass it the path parameter as well over here and make sure it matches that the correct one over here otherwise the the no route will be found because it doesn't match any of the route over this if i go here now i can grab that one over here so that's all and uh, hope you learn about it now how we can pass the um the path parameter how we can pass the the arguments or this um the parameters to this screen over here so that's all for this lesson and uh, we will meet up in the next one till then have a great day